I am Nagaraj Nirchal, Vice Chancellor of Chinmaya Vishwavidya Peet. It is a pleasure to welcome you all to the celebration of the National Statistics Day at Chinmaya Vishwavidya Peet. National Statistics Day celebrated on June 29th, which is the birth anniversary of Professor P.C. Mahalanobis. Professor P.C. Mahalanobis, also known as PCM for short, was born in 1893. He founded the Indian Statistical Institute, developed planning in post-independence India, and established large-scale statistical surveys. His contribution to the Indian scientific heritage is significant and he received many honors for that. As a part of our celebration, we have with us a distinguished guest, Professor Bimal Roy, the chairperson of National Statistical Commission. Please join me and my colleague Venkata Raghavan in our conversation with Professor Bimal Roy. Uh, thank you, Nagraj, my old time friend from uh, 70s uh, when he joined us at ISI. We are in the same hostel for quite some time. Uh, and I'm happy to see him back to India and leading uh, a very different mission now. Okay, I, I hope he succeeds. And I also got a new role for first one year, the chairman of the National Statistical Commission. So I'll be putting my message as the chairman of the commission. So what we are doing uh, from the government end. Uh, two things I think I'll try to emphasize. Uh, number one is that uh, we are going ahead with our plans for sustainable development goal. So when uh, Modiji government uh, took charge in 2014, in 2015, um, they have developed uh, a certain number of sustainable development goals in the line of the UN recommendations. Uh, so, this includes many things. So, we have got 17 goals. Uh, the two goals uh, which are focused for this year are well being for all, health for all, and the other is uh, gender equality and empowerment of women and girls. Uh, now, for this, uh, all these 17 goals, what we have done, we have uh, defined some 300 plus indicators uh, and also identified the source of data compute each indicator and you plan to compute these indicators um, annually if not quarterly and we have defined about uh, 300 plus indicators and we have also from from an nif national indicators framework so we are uh, evaluating this we are doing this uh, regularly now i'll just try to focus on these two um, i think the importance i think all are important but these two are uh, this year's focus. One is the SDG 3, which is well being and health for all. Now, here we are trying to, uh, well, we have we already developed the indicators. We are trying to compute and publish uh, at least every year uh, you know, parameters like uh, infant mortality rate, under five mortality rate. In, neonatal mortality rate uh, and then the number of malaria infections the percentage of cures of the infected malaria so we have defined disease and likewise we have defined about 42 such indicators and if these indicators go beyond the threshold that means we are doing good uh, we have set up our tar target uh, but naturally uh, our target is to reach in by 2030. So we are taking 15 years, starting only in 2015. Uh, I won't say the improvement is very great, but we are slowly, slowly, slowly moving upward. And then whatever we find, the indicators, we send it back to Ministry of Health, at least for SDG3. So they have to do some intervention to improve the, uh, this, uh, this indicator. And the other thing is that, uh, uh, that we are putting emphasis for this year, this particular year, the SDG 5, which talks about gender equality and empowerment of women and uh, girls. So here, few things are very important. Number one, number of criminal offenses against women. 
Now this is uh, uh, well going down, but not to the extent that we love to. And also, what is uh, an issue when you talk to National Crime Research Bureau that often the ladies are not very at home or easy to put a police complaint. So many of these complaints get unregistered. So there has to be a focus from the Ministry of Home Affairs uh, to impress the ladies that if any offence takes place, please do report. Otherwise, uh, this decrease in number, which normally the educated uh, ladies do, doesn't give a clear picture. So that has been our challenge, but we are improving nevertheless. Uh, another thing that we would like to improve, but uh, it's not happening as of today, our target is that uh, at least one third of the government officers should be ladies. At least one third of the legislatures, like MLAs and MPs, should be ladies, if not half. Now we are still at the level of 14 15 percent. Mm -hmm. And from 2015 to 2019, we didn't really improve in that aspect, but that's, you know, that's basically a political decision. Um, and uh, for the officer recruitment, we cannot be biased that we have to recruit um, women even if they don't qualify. So we will be setting up different assistance or even support system for the ladies so that they can compete and they can cross this uh, national level exams or state level exams and they can also become officers. And as to the legislatures, uh, is the political decision, so the political parties have to take initiative, but we are constantly bringing out this data to them. So I will complete uh, my HDG goals here. And the other thing that we have uh, seriously thought of, uh, we will be completely transparent with our data. So in fact, I personally had a meeting with our Honorable Prime Minister one on one, uh, Modi ji, uh, and he is convinced that uh, there is nothing to hide. Uh, but there are certain issues of privacy. Of security. So what you agreed upon that the certain data which are of national security interest that cannot be published by, by any means. But all other data uh, should be published in a fashion that privacy is not compromised. Privacy is a very important issue. In fact, here we are taking the help of statistics, um, statistical models. So how do we publish data after appropriately anonymizing it? So we did form a national level committee to how to anonymize the data uh, so that the data is put in public domain, privacy is not compromised. The committee has just given the report and I'll be sending it to the Prime Minister and hopefully um, in a year or so, we'll see that every data you want to know, you can get in the public domain, but no, but no private information. So what we have done in this one, uh, the committee was basically consisting of ISA professors and some government statistical officers what they are trying to do, they are trying to, uh, you know, we say, obfuscate the data in such a way that the statistical properties are not lost. Yet, privacy is not compromised. You have to give a proof. The probability of you guessing uh, that this uh, data belong to Nagaraj or uh, someone else is less than some, some given epsilon. So this kind of analytical things we have done and the report is ready. So if we can do it, so this will be a success in, in our goal. And I'm pretty sure PC Mohan if you were, you were alive, you would love to see these things. Okay, thank you. So thank you, thank you, Bimal. That is very, very kind of you and uh, taking time even on a Sunday, I must add. No, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, very kind. And uh, I just want to mention to you that, you know, in uh, CVV, we have a uh, MA program in public policy and governance and a master's in law, LLM program. Mm -hmm. It's a one year LLM program with the second year option. In both these programs, <clears throat> we are incorporating the Indian knowledge tradition. So the public, the, uh, uh, so we are collaborating with a center uh, in Kochi called Center for Public Policy and Research in bringing these programs. When we were having our interview with uh, Professor T. Krishna Kumar, he said that the first five year plan was just meant for uh, growth of India and the second five year plan focused on uh, income distribution. And now uh, that you are saying uh, the goal for this year is sustainable growth. So as, as we can see, I mean, at least for me, the goals are becoming more and more qualitative. And yet 
the national statistics commission has a job of converting these qualitative goals into yes, some yes, kind yes, of yes. measurable parameter so yes. uh, if that is the case uh, how do you see statistics uh, today now because more and more you are you are being asked to measure things which are non measurable so how do you uh, think statistics has changed no no i think no i i think uh, that our main challenge uh, uh, at this uh, on national level the national level scenario is that uh, we are committed to sustainable development goals and we have, we have to come out with a proper measure yes so yes. each year we are taking some focus so from 2015 onwards as I, as i told this year it is hdg3 and hdg5 and we have yes. defined certain parameters and then i again tell you we see the problem like when you are talking about the crimes against women or girls we have set up a target not more than 50 in 1 million okay. that means uh, only 50 we want zero but you know that's, that's unrealistic because uh, uh, we are always assume that in model there has to be an error uh, errorless model is impossible and we are human so there has to be some aberrations but we don't want to have it more than 50 per million girls or ladies okay, now then in, immediately we came across that we can get the data from all the police stations Mm. Okay, so, uh, but then we saw. I think one of the, uh, I think he's the director of the National Crime Bureau, uh, Mr. Uh, Ramphal Power. He said that. But Dada, you know, many of the offences do not get reported. Okay, now there comes political will that you you have to you know make the girls aware that there's nothing to worry. You must report. okay so so this is uh, this is the problem we are facing so for each of these uh, indicators that we have different indicators and yeah. we are trying to compute it and again we are getting uh, uh, something very abstract we tend to give a measure and an index so the people will look at the index and understand now what i am telling that if we want um infant mortality rate down to uh, 12 per 10000 so so we, we don't expect our health system to improve in such a way that uh, there will be no death uh, of uh, of infant within one year but we are trying to improve the scenario in such a way that we don't want more than 12 deaths per 10000 children who are below one uh, infant mortality now this is a good indicator so if you know that uh, this year it is 25 and next year we are getting 23 that means we are improving hmm. now our, our goal is to achieve all this thing by 2030 so the government set up the we have defined the indicators the government set up the goal and we're working it and as you said this is a challenge we have to understand the domain more specifically as a problem mostly with the statisticians we are good in handling prob uh, formulas and tables and stuff like that unless you under the understand the domain very appropriately working on that domain which sometimes may remain very vague and you have to mm. put some you know mm. some uh, some flesh and blood there so the people can understand what we are doing so this is a challenge and this was not the case uh, say in 1950s or 60s that time yes, still we were developing yes, the subject yes. the statistical system so now that we have developed and reached up some extent now we are trying to expand and we are facing our own problem any yes, what we try yes. to resolve it and uh, the second question is as you are saying uh, you are trying to put this data out in the public domain so that everyone yes, can yes, 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 but then yes. uh, for this to happen uh, and for this to be really successful people must know how to read and understand and interpret statistics isn't it yes, yes, so yes, yes. for true. that so, do you take up any initiatives for statistical literacy in our country uh, yeah so yeah, yeah. so you yeah, are right uh, good question so so it goes step by step first thing is that the government has access a policy that unless there is some national security issues we will be fully transparent and this i told you our prime minister agreed to that so is 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 also interested interest about that so the first step that we agree to this point second step there are issues of uh, confidentiality and privacy so this cannot be compromised yes okay second one. so now what we are doing we are trying to see how can we publish the data in such a way that these are not compromised yet um, all the information is there so this is this very is what we call we are using statistical thing um, okay that there will be follow up steps one by one so once you do this and then naturally what you told 
how do how does how do people search such thing? Say suppose you want to know um, how many uh, what is the un unemployment rate in a in a in a block in in such a uh, district of UP. Mm -hmm. So how does one search it? So there has to be a backend training module, and there should be a backend. You know, I don't know. Most of these uh, nice softwares, uh, like say Python and etc., they have a backend. They have a support systems. So if you have any problem, you can put them a question, and they they reply you back. So we have to develop um, a parallel system in the government, so where people will be giving guidelines. So by this, you should be able to search. But if if you fail, or if you fail to understand that guideline, then you should be able to send a mail. And there should be either a mail answer or even a phone call back and telling that this is how we should search things. So you have to set up this infrastructure also. Mm -hmm. So we are targeting next, um, I think Modiji told that before his regime is over, he would like to put in practice. Uh, so this current regime, we may continue for another five years, but this is, so one year is over. So we are there, a statistical development of how to you know, anonymize and obfuscate data so that can be safely published without mm -hmm. compromising mm -hmm. privacy confidentiality. Next step would be we have to actually make a document for the people how they can actually uh, look into this, uh, this database. We have to develop our own search engine. And then we have to also develop a backend support team where people can uh, contact if they, they cannot use a search engine appropriately. Mm -hmm. so, all, all, all follow up actions. I think uh, a follow up on this one is that uh, so um, the current bill uh, does not really say anything about this. So no, 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 no. It's, it's step by step. It comes step by step. So based on the, commission, the committee report, do you expect a revision or? Uh, yeah, I, I, I do expect. I do expect something new will come up. Uh, you know, but in government things move a little slow. So there will be a lot of reviews and etc. The community will submit it, so it will go in many places, and then, uh, I, but I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, so, uh, it, it, it will come through. Uh, and you must visit ISA first, and then I can visit your campus too. Uh, yes, we would love, love to have you. Hopefully, and by middle of August, things would be more or less normal. Yes, you know, you That's come here. We, I want you to come here first because there is a lot more people who can take advantage of you if you come here. So I think. No, no, that's fine, but, but I think you should come to your alma mater. You should visit ISA, what is happening here. <laughs> And then I'll come. No, I'll come anyway. Yeah, I I definitely want to mention one thing that you know you are really following the uh, PC Malnabi's foot, footsteps by being in in Delhi and impacting policy. And uh, the good scientists need to get their uh, uh, their uh, influence into the policy. The only way we can actually make sure the policies are right. Staying away, I think this is a mistake. A lot of scientists do saying that no politics is not for me. I don't want to be close to them. But I think PCM set a very good example of saying no. You need to work with them. Everything is, and you are following those footsteps. And I cannot think of a better guest for our National Statistics Day and uh, uh, celebration of uh, Mahalanobis birthday than you, Bima. I really, really appreciate you coming over. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, I, I'm proud. <laughs>